What's going on guys, Mayhem here, and today we're going to be modding Dungeon Defenders for the PC. This is version 7.5, I've seen no videos on the internet about how to mod version 7.5. Although it is similar to other versions, I just want to clarify for those of you that are wondering about 7.5, how to mod it correctly. Uh, so first things first, we're going to need a few programs and I'll get back to you guys when I have those open up in the window. Alright guys, so the first link that you click is going to be to a mod tool. You're going to click that link and wait 5 seconds on add fly. And uh, you'll look in the top right corner and when skip add is available, click that. Make sure you don't click anything where my white space was or you're probably going to get a virus to be honest with you. Uh, then you just want to click download now and you'll be good to go for this portion. But don't close out of your internet browser yet because we have to download one more file and that's cheat engine. And I'll get back to you guys when I have that up. Alright guys, so we have this back up. Again, we're going to wait 5 seconds on ad fly. Uh, just to support me, make me a little bit of money, not much at all though. And uh, we're going to wait 5 seconds and then in the top right corner again we'll click skip ad. And uh, now you'll be on the Cheat Engine website. All you have to do is come to right here where it says Cheat Engine 6.3 released and just click Cheat Engine 6.3 and it'll download for you. I believe this is only for PC so I'm sorry for you Mac users. However you can try it and let me know in the comment section that would be great. Um, but that's all you have to do on the internet so now you can go ahead and close that out and the first thing we're gonna do is mod our characters level so uh, what we want to do is go into dungeon defenders here and uh, I apologize for that let's go back to the menu uh, we can do this online or you can do it local it's up to you however you're not supposed to do it in ranked uh, the game is open source but they do not like uh, messing with the stuff in ranked they don't like that so go to open if you would please and uh, you just want to pick your character and we'll go ahead and hit start and I'm going to go to private match because it's easier on me. It'll also be easier on you if you go to private match so you don't have players joining your game. Now first thing we got to do is go over here and uh, we're just going to click right here and see what our hero info is exactly. We have to look at our, P or our XP number. Uh, then you just want to hit the windows button on your keyboard and then just to tab out of that game and you're gonna go to cheat engine now in cheat engine all you have to do is click this little computer with the magnifying glass and go to dundefgame.exe not dungeondefenders.exe dundefgame and you wanna open that up and you're gonna go ahead and type in your XP value so mine is 10,048,917 and uh, I just wanna click first scan and as you see here I'm gonna get a few values so what we're going to have to do is go and gain a little bit of XP. XP bonus. So here we go. We're going to pay for this XP and it's going to change my XP number. All right. So now we have 10,521,650. So we're going to tab out, make sure we can see our XP. And we're going to come to our value here. And we're going to change it to the new value. So 521650. And now we want to click next scan, not new scan. And uh, here we have three values. Come in here, and since we only have three values, it will be okay if I change them. And uh, so you just want to double click on those, and they're going to come down here. Now what you want to do is change one of the values, do it one at a time. And uh, you could just change it to a bunch of nines. I, I believe that nine, not no, not for XP. I'm not really sure what the max is. It'll tell you if it's a valid number or not. But uh, I'm just gonna do that. And now we'll click back into our Dungeon Defenders game. And since it's XP, you're gonna have to go get a kill or something before you actually receive your level. See, it granted me my XP. Uh, as soon as I respawn, you'll be able to see it. But I actually put too much XP, and now I have negative 1 billion. So make sure that you don't give yourself too much XP. I would take it in small increments. But once you figure out the number, you can basically come over here and you can give it a description. So you can name this XP, and uh, all you'll have to do next time uh, when you open this up, just come over here and hit File and then Save As. And then put it on your desktop or somewhere, and uh, you're just saving your cheat engine table. So next time when I come over here and run this, it'll let me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. I thought I was going to have to open up the program. I apologize. But next time I open this up, my XP comes back up. So all we'll have to do next time is come back into my processes, pick the right thing, and there we go. And now we know what my XP is.
Um, now what we're going to be doing is modding our items. So head back to your tavern. Make sure the item you would like to mod is in your item box or it will not be able to be modded. Uh, here we have an item that I picked up off the ground in that mission. Uh, what we want to do now is quickly open up the other program that's available for download in the description. So first thing we want to do here in Grand U is find our item here and we'll just look at its stats. So for its character health stat, it's plus two. So we're going to come here and type in two. We'll hit first scan and you're probably not going to get any results. Okay, well I actually got a few. Uh, make sure full scanning is checked as well. And now we'll come back here and we see that my character speed is plus five. So we're going to go ahead and put five on that and hit next scan. And we still have way too many results to do this. So we're going to look at my character damage, which would be plus two. And we'll hit next scan. And here we have it is my item. So we'll double click this, bring it down here, open it up. And here we have my item. So it's going to resemble the stats that you have to the right. Now what I suggest doing is not giving the hero health anything because you should do this for your armor and just one piece of armor make it maxed out because if you put too much hero health then uh, you're instantly going to die. It's really annoying. Um, but just be sure that you do it correctly. Don't put too much health or you're going to die. I only suggest putting it on one piece of armor and you'll have enough health to last yourself. So I'm just going to make that one as I always... No, actually, I'm going to make that zero as always. And uh, hero speed, you can put nine nines, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, you just want to hit update and you'll see in the game, if you did it correctly, it's going to update your stats. Uh, we'll quickly... Fill in hero damage to 9999 and hero casting to 9999. Click update. Hero skill, we can also do 9999. I think it goes down to 128 though. No, okay, apparently not. And uh, we'll just do this for all these items. Tower health, we can also do 99s. Uh, there is one tower thing that we cannot do 99s for, and that's range. If you put 99s for range, you're going to end up with your towers and they will cover the entire map and you will not be able to place them. So tower range, I usually set it at 100 or 200. I personally prefer 200 and we'll quickly hit update and as you see it updated in game. Um, resistances or resists, uh, the type of resist varies depending on the code. I have a few codes but they're armor codes. I don't actually have weapon codes currently. So I can't give you these. If you guys find them out, be sure to post them in the comments. Help everyone else out. Damage, obviously, you can do nine nines for. I'm going to have to go back and count that nine. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Range damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And elemental damage uh, is up to you. I don't like having elemental damage because they block it out. Uh, if they have the right stats and you can't actually use your weapon. Blocking, knockback, charge speed do not work for um, the Huntress weapons, which is what I'm doing. But if you have a different type of person, like a Squire, then definitely change the blocking and the knockback. That's up to you, though. Shots per second. Uh, if you put too many shots per second, it's actually not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest... Probably a safe number would be 500. Now, if you guys can increase that number and still keep it... Oh, okay, you can't even do that. <laughs> 128 is the max number, but there's shots, uh, speed of projectiles. You can't do that too high, I believe. We'll find out here in just a second. If you do, yeah, if you do speed of projectiles too high, then they actually won't even hurt your enemies. So what we want to do is, I would say, again, a safe number would be 500. Number of projectiles, I, I believe the max is 128, and it's going to set that back for us. Yep. Clip ammo, you can make that as high as you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And uh, reload speed also can be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Don't mess with the qualities uh, unless you know what they are. That will uh, just change the name for you. We're going to click update very quickly. And uh, here, uh, I also would not mess with the level because I don't believe it does anything. And the colors, they don't work as well as they do on the Xbox, but the draw scale does work. Uh, however, the numbers, they're 
quite crazy. I believe if you put five, it increases. Um, um, yeah, see? That's way too big. So we'll put that back down to... Actually, you know what? We're going to put it at four, and I'm going to leave that because I would like to see how big it is. And uh, that's about it. You can mess with the colors. As you can see, they'll change when you change them. And uh, that's pretty much it for your item. Uh, you can click update again and exit out of that. Uh, if you want to, you can give this a name as well. However, I don't really know how to save it. So, Anyways, you can exit out of that, come back into your game, and uh, we'll give our weapon here a shot. So we're gonna, oh gosh. <laughs> uh, here we go, we'll hit the dummy with it. And it's actually, it's not even doing any damage. I'm not sure what the current problem is, but if you guys can figure out what the problem is, it's not doing any damage. So just make sure that you don't have something too high to where it doesn't do any damage at all. If you guys figure out what that would be, let me know. I'm, yeah, I'm curious, not curious. I'm pretty sure it's the fact that my hero damage is over the max 32-bit number, but I'm not positive. But if you guys want to check on that for me, that would be great. Or I'll check on it and post it in the comments for you guys. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I hope you enjoy your items, your mana, and uh, have fun screwing around in the game with your friends. Um, be sure to spread this video around. It's the only version 7.5 modding video I've seen. I hope you guys enjoyed again. Be sure to subscribe for more modding tutorials or any other kind of tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I am Mayhem. Peace out.